Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for October 9th, 2022 from John chapter 6, Comfort Food, part 5. Previously, we heard that Jesus fed over 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and just a couple of fish. The people then tried to make Jesus their, you could say, their bread king. But Jesus leaves the crowd. He wasn't ready to be their king. Instead, he was going to be their savior. The crowd started following Jesus, not because they needed a savior, because they wanted to be fed again. So Jesus starts teaching them more about himself. Jesus would say, I am the bread of life. And then Jesus would start saying, you have to eat in my flesh and drink my blood. All of a sudden, you got a very strange reaction from the crowd. They didn't understand about this. But Jesus was making beautiful reference to the Lord's Supper. But would the crowd realize this? So let's continue the narrative as Jesus then continues in John chapter 6, verse 55. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. Almost sounds a little bit like cannibalism, but again, Jesus is reminding us of the importance of the Lord's Supper. But let's have Jesus continue. Verse 57, as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father. So whoever feeds on me, he also will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Not like the bread the fathers ate and died. Whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. In the Lord's Supper, we are reminded that Jesus said, Take eat, this is my body. Take drink, this is my blood. True food and drink in order for us to live forever. Unfortunately, many churches, even in today's world, don't teach this. Notice there's actually a similar reaction to the crowd. Verse 60, when many of his disciples heard this, they said, this is a hard saying. Who can listen to it? It is a hard saying. It is beyond our imagination and human thinking, but it is the word of God. So do we change God's word to fit into our thinking? No. But again, notice what the crowd would do. Verse 61, but Jesus, knowing in himself that his disciples were grumbling about this, said to them, do you take offense at this? Verse 62, then what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh is no help at all. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. Verse 64, but there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the beginning who those were who did not believe, and who it was who would betray him. Verse 65, and he said, This is why I told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by the Father. After this, many of his disciples turned back and no longer walked with him. Notice many of the disciples, besides the crowds, turned away from Jesus, just like many churches in today's world who don't teach the Lord's Supper correctly, that Jesus says, this is my body, this is my blood, that we receive the body and blood of Christ with that bread and wine. Those other churches say no and kind of doing the same thing. They're walking away from Jesus. Verse 67 so Jesus said to the 12, do you want to go away as well? The response that will come from Peter in the next verse is classic. It answers the question. When something is beyond our imagination, beyond our understanding, do we change God's word to fit within our understanding? Or do we just trust in God's word? So let's pick up Peter's response. Verse 68 Simon Peter answered him, Lord, 
To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. So Peter focuses us the correct way, to trust in God's word, for there is no other way that leads to eternal life. But yet many churches, churches do not correctly teach the Lord's Supper. So Jesus then continues, verse 20, Jesus answered them, Did I not choose you, the twelve? And yet one of you is a devil. He spoke of Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, for he was one of the twelve, was going to betray him. Yes, it seems like there will always be that one. Someone who will not receive Christ's word and will not receive the body and blood of Christ with that bread and wine. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.